Welcome! My name is Darren. Thank you for joining me as I'm about to walk through some of the features found on one of my Coyote board game tables. I love playing board games, and I love doing woodworking in my garage. It was only a matter of time before the two would collide. I designed my table from scratch and incorporated some essential features into it. This table sits six comfortably, but can also squeeze up to ten people since it is a trestle table, which means it has no corner legs to get in the way. It has storage underneath the table for holding the vault planks, vault caps, and extra neoprene that is used to cover the whole tabletop when a larger plane surface is desired. Since everything is stored within the table, you do not end up having table accessories scattered around the room. The drink holders in my game tables are hidden within the table edge and pop out on steel ball bearing slides with a slight push on the front plate. They are modular, so they can adapt to hold different types of drink containers. Here you see the standard aluminum cup holder that can hold cans, tall glasses, and even some water bottles. By changing the module, it can be adapted to hold coffee and tea mugs. Note that the liquids are being held down and away from the table edge, so there is no chance of spilling liquids on any game setup within the vault. Other table designs have the drink holders mounted on the top of the table edge, which means if a drink is mishandled or bumped, there's a 50% chance of it spilling into the vault, which could damage the game. Keeping the drinks as far away from the vault as possible is the safest choice. Next are the fold-out player stations. There are six of these around the table, and each have a locking front panel, so the table looks solid when the player stations are closed. Opening the top gains access to the two locking latches, which allows the front panel to fold down, opening up the table sides. To close the front panel, you can reach underneath the table and use one of the two holes to push the panel back up. This functionality gives the player stations three different modes. First is a storage mode. By keeping the front panel closed, you can open the top and place objects inside for storage. Second, you can fold the front panel flat and keep the top closed creating a cubbyhole effect where their players can store their cell phones and other personal gaming components hidden out of sight. Third, you can fold the front panel down and open the top ledge creating a large personal playing space for holding player mats or other game related parts. I often open a side station up so I can store the game box at the table for easy access, but not in the vault so it is not in the way. Here you can see the trestle base which has tons of storage within it for holding all six vault planks, two rolls of neoprene, and two vault caps. While all six planks can be used to fully cover the vault, if only one plank is used with the two vault caps, you can create two separate mini vaults which will allow two games to be played concurrently. This can be taken one step further by using three vault planks and a half neoprene sheet to cover one half of the table. This creates two mini game areas, one with a vault, one without a vault. I designed the vault planks to be multifunctional in that one face of the planks is flush with the table surface, the left side shown here, while the opposite face has a three millimeter cutout to allow the neoprene to be flush with the table surface, shown on the right here. This allows the table owner two possible modes to use a table when the vault is fully covered. 
You can use a vault planks table flush side to cover the whole table giving you a huge play surface when you use both neoprene sheets. In this mode, you gain approximately 45% more table surface to lay out those huge games on. When doing this, note that the edge of the neoprene is visible and can catch and roll on your arms and hands as you move above the table. To prevent this, the inner vault neoprene mat can be used with the vault planks flipped over 180 degrees to expose the 3mm neoprene pocket. When set up this way, you have a flush neoprene mat with the tabletop, which will not catch or roll up your arm. Thank you for watching my feature video. If you have any questions about my table or would like to purchase one, please contact me at the email shown on the screen. Bye!